Okay, up here, and we I've got a special treat that's been requested by no one on YouTube or but by a lot of my friends from school asking me to do this because they don't know and we don't use GIMP at school, we use Photoshop and that's why I have it on my laptop but we're going to be using GIMP so as you can see it's open you're going to open this file, new width 640 height 400 have it as this advanced options and yeah I'll give you some time to do that pause the video actually do whatever you want for that oh yeah you um do whatever you want for this um I'm going to be having a transparent background so yes press ok so you should come up with this screen here now what you're going to do first well I have a lot of gradient um open up text um the text and select any text I'm going to be using walkway bold have the size as 150 this oh yeah I haven't even told you what I'm doing by the way this is how to be making like sort of like filling fill in text it's hard to like like basically two colors you'll see it's hard to explain so yeah start off selecting white and and just put my initials OPL um, fiddle around before you want to put it don't be that fussed um, go to the align tool click on it hit this one and then this one put it dead on in the center um, yeah next up you can um, um, te right click text to selection new there bada bim bada boom um, sorry <laughs> I had to say that um, what you're gonna do is on this new layer you're going to go to select grow 10 well 10 enter um, select the color turquoise fill in um move it down a layer then go to your text layer text the selection select grow to go to this select that on both colors well whoops sorry select it on both colors the same color drag it across whoops no not the same colors um select it both as white so yeah select it both as white sorry i got a bit mixed them drag it across simple if you want to have um then go to edit sorry i mean select none there you go simple easy it, it's very easy um yeah you can whip up a lot more with this sort of thing um so if you want to see some more stuff like I, I i will show you so let's like do some editing so let's add some filters first um no one second before anything i just remembered this merge down so it's one text one text and then go to filters enchant sharpen sharpen
50. Okay. Let's just add a little edge to it. Um, it's always good to add a little edge. Um, next up. <coughs> sorry. And then, got a bit of a cough. <coughs> um, we are going to be going to um, create a new layer. Layer, layer, layer. Um, yeah. Create a new layer. And then go to text. And sort of go over this white one. So just put the same thing. OPL. And move it directly over so you can't see it like that. Simply done. Close it. Now go um, to your new layer. New layer, new layer. Come to the new layer. I mean, no. Go to this layer. Merge down with the new layer. Then get your move tool. New layer. And sort of. No, sorry. Yes, move it down. But first, move this down a layer so it's under this. And it doesn't seem to want to work because I haven't really clicked on it. I know what I'm doing, sorry. If you're really getting confused, I really apologise. Sort of make it go under like that. Um, those filters. Blur. Whoops, sorry. Gaussian blur. Fifteen. Hit enter. Okay. That would just add a slight sort of like brightness if you can see. It's like goes brighter. So that's just just adding some like sort of like effects. Um another thing to do. Um next <coughs> Sorry. Merge this layer with that one. Alpha selection. Alpha selection, sorry. Click this box right there. This is just to change colour. Do that. So you so only select this part of that you've selected. Click on it to assure your position. Um, maps have liner set. Go to mode, soft light, um, opacity 60. Well, oh, why does that never work for me? My heart skip, skip. Um, set the gradient to FG transparent sort of go over um, a few times just to add some edge and yeah next up go to edit I mean select none it should add a little edge um, yeah if, if you want to add a background to this I know exactly what to do go to filters Render, Nature, Flame. Um, edit all this, I'll show you what to put. Change this to 5. That's the full. Contrast only to 1.50. Gamma to 3. Um, the sensitivity to 7. Well, yeah. This to 
four. And this to one point fifty. Hit enter, go to edit. Um put the speed up to full. Randomize. Look for a nice one like this. Click on it. Press OK. It should appear here. You're gonna hit OK. And just wait for it to finish drawing. <coughs> Simple. Nice pattern there. Hope you like the pattern. Next. The best other way to do this, to add a nice effect, I mean, yeah, a nice effect, press black for this one. Oh, take that off, put a bucket fill, fill it in, each area. It, it will add so much, it looks really cool, um, yeah, once it's actually done. So yeah, just fill in all of the gaps that you think need filling. Um, obviously leave some space. You don't have to choose black, obviously. Choose whatever colour you want. It's obviously your text. But, yeah. Um, I really hope you like this little video. Uh, it's just to show you I am I can work on my own instead of getting people to help me all the time and actually aren't one of those people who do that and I'm glad I am not I have learned from mistakes in the past um, so yeah just to add a lot of detail and then my heart skip skip A good thing is to like click over the line twice, um, like that. It just adds a bit more detail. Some I won't fill in because it looks pretty cool without the filling in, um, like the ones inside of here, inside of the here and the P. Then my heart skip skip. So there we go. I hope you like this finalized image. I really think that looks awesome. Please, um, you can add some more edit, which I will do, and I will show you the end result after this video. Um, yeah. So. See you guys later.